Hello everyone. We welcome you to episode 2 of Gayatri Dialogues. In the previous edition we spoke with Dr. Sudeshna and uh, what she basically shed a light on was all the gaps that women are facing clinically in women's health. Today we've got a very special guest Urvashi Prasad who is a director in the office of the vice chairperson at Niti Aayog and has been practicing in the space of public health and policy for more than a decade. And one thing that one of the reasons why we are doing guide three dialogues is to really approach the idea of women's health from the perspective of clinical outcomes but also the policy gaps and these are some of the things that we'll be learning from Urvashi this afternoon hi urvashi how are you doing hi swarnama thank you for having me here we'll be very pleased to have you thank you so much and uh, thank you for being part of the first edition of gayatri dialogues and um, basically what we are trying to do over here is to see how culture is shaping women's health not only in terms of the conversations that we are having that we are having but also in terms of how are we defining the health outcomes for women through culture and policy is obviously a very important part of it so just to start us off i'd love to hear from you uh, as a public health specialist what have been some of the biggest gaps in women's health policy that you have seen over your experience whether it is in terms of maternal health mental health menstrual health any of that what is the role that policy plays and what are some gaps uh, that you that you've seen in your experience yeah so uh, i think um, you know one is on the policy side um, we have historically and that's also been guided by the nature of the problems we faced uh, which have been mostly in you know reproductive maternal uh, health and and you know nutrition related issues and and we are still not done with that agenda you know that agenda there's still a lot of work to be done um but now we also have this um, additional challenge of non communicable diseases lifestyle diseases environment uh, related diseases a lot of which affect women you know disproportionately and and women's access to care uh, disproportionately is affected by a lot of these so i think uh, more than a gap as such i think our policies uh, you know are in sort of a transitory phase uh in okay. some sense uh, where we are now uh sort of trying to keep up with this new reality uh you know mm-hmm. of of the whole gamut of issues health issues that women are facing um which is no longer you know just about looking at women from a reproductive or you know maternal health perspective but looking yeah. at women's health much more holistically um, right. including men- mental health um you know yeah. that is a, of course also a very important dimension uh, so yeah. i think we're seeing a policy shift in that sense um you know which is mm-hmm. attempting now and hopefully we'll see more of it uh, in the times to come uh, to balance out uh, you know the focus on these issues so i think that mm-hmm. is one uh, the other quick thing i would just say is that in general i think policy wise uh, we still manage to do fairly well you know when it comes to just the policy per se uh where mm-hmm. our biggest challenge lies is in implementation um because course, we are yeah. such a large and you know diverse country and you know states are like countries in themselves um we have a lot of challenges you know when it comes to implementation so i think yeah. that is something that we need to focus a lot more on and, and that's where a lot of our focus should lie um you know of course we need good policies and you know there's no denying that but i think a lot of the focus has to be on addressing our implementation at scale uh, you know challenges yeah no that's absolutely right and you know it's interesting that you're mentioning that you know there's a huge uh, mindset shift when it comes to you know imp- you know producing and implementing policy and that is moving away from just you know essentializing women's health from the reproductive framework and making it more holistic um so you know speaking of implementation and execution of course apart from the logistical challenge that india you know sort of presents itself what have been some challenges in also bringing about this mindset shift and what you know what have what have we done right and what can be better while bringing about this policy shift or mindset shift and uh, framing the policy yeah i think um, you know we we need a lot more conversation around this you know of course within the policy space uh, but also more broadly 
um, and you know involving all the different stakeholders um, you know including women themselves you know women themselves being the most important stakeholder perhaps so making sure that you know their voices um, are heard and and women from across the spectrum you know across socio economic uh, backgrounds because you know often there's no universal experience in some sense you know in india yeah. everybody um, it's such a diverse experience and it's the same for women as well so yeah. so i think we need to talk a lot more about these issues uh, because you know changing mindsets uh, the more yeah. we talk the more we engage with diverse stakeholders uh, it's yeah. probably the best bet you know the government yeah. alone can Uh, can never do these things you know so uh, so i think that that is also something that i'm seeing and especially you know after covid as well um, mm-hmm. that you know there is going to be more engagement uh, between different stakeholders now you know realizing mm-hmm. that when we had a crisis like covid everyone had to come mm-hmm. together you know nobody That's could right. do it alone uh, so if we can do That's it right. during covid why can't we do it you know otherwise also um, and, and other right. issues also